I am feeling a little deja vu sitting here and filming this intro because I feel like I did. I feel like I was wearing something very similar in one of my previous house update videos intro, wasn't I? I feel like I was sitting right here in these sunglasses, a little deja vu moment, but I wanted to come outside. It is such a beautiful day. We are starting to enjoy the pool, which is nice. I think you can, can you see the reflection of the pool in my sunnies? But I wanted to finally give you guys episode four. I obviously could have given this to you sooner. There's just been a lot going on in regards to the house and not even just the actual things going on, but just even in my mental state, it's just been a process. It really truly has just been a process. And I do feel like I am slowly starting to feel more like myself in many, many ways. I even got, look, I got a chai tea. I haven't gotten a chai tea in so long. And I will say I haven't been craving them either. I have been really trying to be healthier in every aspect of my lifestyle. You know, I'm back to working out regularly, eating healthier, you know, making sure that I eat all of my meals throughout the day and all of the things. So I haven't had a try in a very, very long time. But I think because it has been so long, it just tastes so yummy. What's that quote? The distance makes the heart grow fonder totally applies. <laughs> Anyways, I know you guys are so ready for this house update. I've got a lot to share with you in today's video. We're kind of wrapping up things. With that said, the painters are actually here today, so the project isn't done. I was really hoping that this video would be kind of like everything all done. It's just unfortunately not. We had some issues with some paint and if just a couple of other things, so they've had to repaint, which means we haven't even been able to fully move in upstairs because, you know, I just want to keep those rooms you know nothing on the walls and everything off the walls so those rooms haven't even been moved into or anything yet but yeah we are getting closer we are like living in majority of the house now like using the kitchen and everything and so far I'm really happy with everything that has been done other than the paint which we are getting that handled and taken care of. So yeah, I think I'm finally at a good place. This whole process, it has been super frustrating, super stressful, more stressful than I ever could have imagined. I feel like it's one of those things that there were a few of y'all that tried to warn me, but I really feel like it is almost impossible to truly warn somebody how stressful this situation is because it affects you on such a deep, fully encompassing way. If you've never, and, and it's way different than building a house from scratch because we've done that. This has been harder than I ever could have imagined and living through it, I don't recommend. Our situation was different. One, keep in mind, we were supposed to be done end of January, so we shouldn't have been living through it this long. And two, we have the cats and three, we should have just stayed in our other house a little bit longer. But either way, it wouldn't have worked out because again, we didn't finish in January. We're here we are in May and still not finish. But yeah, I guess let's go ahead and just dive in and see where we left off. If you are new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I typically do a lot of fashion and luxury videos here, but I just recently am going through, because it's not done, a six, seven month home remodel. We purchased this home that you see in the background and decided to basically remodel it from top to bottom. Every single square inch of this home was remodeled and it's been a process. So there are three other episodes. This is episode four. So if you are just now watching this one, make sure to go watch at least episode one so you can see where the house started because I feel like it looks so different. It's looking really good, you guys. I'm really, really happy with a lot of it and I cannot wait for it to fully be done so that we can truly, fully enjoy it. I will say we have I've been enjoying this backyard though. So let's go ahead and dive in and see where we're at. We have primer. This is the reality of living in construction, you guys. It's very stressful, but you also get to see the progress every day. And the primer already looks really good. But I would share this with you. They just brought in the counters. This is hubby's counter in our main bathroom. And this is my counter in the main bathroom. He's measuring my sink right now. And that is for the media room right there. Look at how long my counter is. And then this is hubby's media room. Countertop is in. I actually did a poll on Instagram and y'all helped me decide to go on the lighter side. I shared the wood, I shared the paint color and majority voted for light. And I think this turned out great. They still have to paint Somehow this wall got 
skipped by accident and still needs to be taped and floated, but the countertops look so pretty. Sink holes are in. Here is hubby's sink and this is mine. This piece is so big. So my countertop is in, as you can see. I was always really curious to see how they were gonna do this, but they actually used the entire piece even though these ends are underneath the tower. But this is my vanity. It looks so good. I am so, so happy with it. It is extra deep because we did extra deep cabinets and then towers. It is extra deep, which is nice. So I've got even a little bit of extra room. Um, I didn't want to do a vanity. I wanted to have more store, like a, like a sit down vanity. I wanted to have more storage. And then I'll just put like one of my light up mirrors on in one of these corners or something. And then I, I haven't decided. You guys can help me out. I personally am a fan of full mirrors. I was thinking about doing a full mirror. I don't know. I haven't decided. Should I do a full mirror? Like just literally wall to wall and then from here to about here a mirror or should I do more of like a frame mirror? obviously the frame mirror might look a little bit better aesthetically but I just feel like a full mirror is just more practical because even if I'm here like I haven't decided which tower my makeup is going to be in there's going to be a refrigerator here so I, what if my makeup is in this drawer like so I'll just be standing right here right I don't wanna to have to always go right here to put my makeup on. I can be here to put my makeup on, or if I'm doing my skincare on this side. I don't know, I'd love to know your thoughts. I am leaning towards doing a full mirror. Since this was custom done, finding a mirror that is gonna be the right size frame-wise is probably gonna be pretty difficult, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And then here is hubby's side. He's got a decent little area as well. That tower is there. I just am really, really happy with the way that this turned out. I think it's so pretty. I love the colors. And I feel like, I feel like it's enough, like the perfect amount of warmth, right? It's so pretty. Same here though. The only issue that I'm concerned about in regards to the mirror here is that outlet. And unfortunately, that is like a main outlet. There's something about that outlet that they that it has to be there. It provides power to like the outlets that are in like some of the drawers and then like the tower and stuff. Um, so that has to stay there. So I can't get rid of the outlet even though he has one there. So the mirror would only have to be able to go here and that would be like a strip of wall. So that's the only thing that I'm concerned about here and the only reason why I'm like, mm, maybe I should go and do a framed one. So anyways, I don't know. I still would love your thoughts. So much has happened in the last couple of days. They're really trying to wrap things up around here. As you see, we've got some cabinetry installed, some cabinet doors. The glass fronts are not in yet. The stainless steel hood vent came in. We do need to order a crown for it. So that is already on order. And we did run into an issue here in the backsplash. So as you guys know, we added a pot filler, which wasn't there before. And we're running into an issue every single time. We've tried four times already. Every single time we've gotten to install the pot filler. I can't remember if I shared the pot filler with you before, but this tile that you see has cracked four times. This glass tile isn't strong enough to hold the tension, I guess, of the pot filler. So we basically have two options. We're either gonna have to add an inlay here, which is fine if we have to, or just completely redo the tiles in all three areas of the kitchen that require a backsplash tile. I really don't wanna go that route right now. I just don't feel like I'm ready to make that decision. I did send them a tile for an inlay option, this tape is to kind of like estimate the size that we would go. I'm thinking like a two by three is what I'm thinking in this area for an inlay, but I picked a white marble square like mosaic, which I actually really like and I think would be beautiful for the whole kitchen. But like I said, I'm just, I don't know if I wanna do it. So there's that. On another note, I don't think I've shared here, I did end up upgrading to the brass, what are these called? The brass burners for the stove. Last video you guys saw, uh, it was all silver. Actually, the old ones are still over there in the corner. And I upgraded to the brass ones. And I feel like just even that little touch of brass has, totally upgraded this range. I might eventually upgrade some of like maybe the knobs or something. I haven't decided. Even if I don't, I think this is perfection. If you have this range, I will link the brass ones down below for you because they're stunning. 
They are stunning. These are like just the perfect little accessory for this range, especially once the pot filler goes up there because they just look so pretty together. It like brings it all together. I am planning on doing like a brass hardware on the cabinets and drawers as well. So it kind of will just bring everything all together. I will say y'all have helped me so much with decisions. Obviously I'm gonna do the, the pulls here on the drawers. Should I do pulls on the cabinets or should I do knobs? Obviously, I think the pulls look really nice, right? If you do like a, a, a longer, like a longer pull. But I also love it whenever I see a kitchen that has different hardware. I just feel like it feels very custom when you've got different hardware on the cabinet. Obviously, it'll be from the same style, the same color, like the same brand and everything. It'll be the matching knobs or pulls, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Guess what got installed today? floors and i'm obsessed they are literally the most beautiful undertone they're like warm cool um and i actually feel like i don't know what it is about video but sometimes it just doesn't come up this is not doing these justice they are so much prettier they still need to add the quarter round yes they have to add quarter round since these floors are um he explained to me i kind of wanted like the cleaner look but he said that since they were not underneath the walls they have to be like they have to do the quarter round so they will be adding the quarter round and they have a few areas in this room that they need to touch up but you can see it it's coming up definitely more uh what's the word that i'm looking for it looks very what's the word that i'm looking for like it seems like there's a lot of different uh, pieces like, it's really not it, it's actually not a busy floor at all i just think it's so pretty i'm super super happy with it and i think it looks so good with well honestly with any all of the colors that we've got within the house i think it looks so good this room is so pretty i'm so happy with it it is we're getting closer guys i wish i could really show you like undertone of this that's probably a little bit better right here that's so pretty i love it i'm super super happy with these floors but yeah and it looks great up against this paint color in here closet is getting started today they've pulled all of the pieces and there's so much more in the truck. We have the first section in. Slowly but surely, they're gonna be here all day and they actually have to come back tomorrow for all the accessories. And actually, not even all the accessories because there's more coming in in a couple weeks. Look what is happening today. All of the staircase is gone and all the new one is going up. It is gonna look so good. It already looks so much brighter and more open in this area. So here's the before, after. We'll be here soon. I do not remember where we last left off, but this is where we're at. Ignore, everything is still really dirty. You can see this glass is filthy. The chandelier is missing a ton of crystals and that chandelier should look familiar. I did bring the three chandeliers from my closet to this house because I love them so, so much. Uh, and I wanted to utilize them here. So I put one above the tub and then we, I have the other two in my closet. We've got the rain shower head in. We've got the other shower head. We are missing one piece. So that will get hung right here on this bar. It's like adjustable, but I just love the way this turned out. Everything in here as far as like the colors and the selections i'm so so happy with everything is super super dirty so don't look too close you can see the glass is filthy there is a layer of dust on everything the grout looks disgusting it will all get clean before we actually move into this space but it just looks so so good and i love the way the cabinets this is my vanity right here this is just my vanity we've got to put some lights here mirror i'm still kind of not 100 percent sure on mirror yet Obviously, I know I want a big mirror, but I haven't decided if I want a frameless mirror and just go like wall to wall and then from here all the way up to right below the light or if I want to do more of like a framed mirror. I really haven't decided. You guys have helped me make so many decisions, including where that ended up going. So many of y'all picked that, which I'm glad because that was my pick too. So I would love to know your thoughts here. I like mirrors to be bigger the better i want to be able to be standing right here and be able to see in the mirror or here or here like if i'm doing something in this tower that I, that i can that i don't have to come to directly in front of my sink to look in the mirror i want 
basically everywhere that I'm standing in this area to have a mirror in front of me. So I feel like I know the answer to it, but I'm just still kind of struggling. Ignore this little piece. I'm venting my refrigerator because the fridge is already in there. This is gonna be for like my morning smoothies and bottled water and my skincare and like, um, like masks and stuff like that. And so we're gonna put a vent on the other side, but I just put that there just to give it a little bit of venting. And then on this side of the bathroom is the other vanity area we're missing as you can see we're missing a drawer and one half of this cabinet door here is is you know coming we've got to fix some hardware which i think i have narrowed it down to these i really like these i really really like these um i feel like they go well with this i feel like they go well with that i just feel i feel like they're a good kind of like in the middle i know i asked you guys on instagram a lot of y'all Picked the other one, that was honestly the majority. I think I feel like when I've done these polls, almost every single time I go with what you guys help me decide. This might be the, maybe there might be two. This one and one other one, I can't remember that I have kind of gone with what I wanted as opposed, like my first instinct. It is officially floor day. Floors are going in. It's gonna be another two-ish weeks before this is all done. This area so far is definitely one of my faves. New chandelier is in and you guys helped me pick this one. Look at the posts. So much better now that the curb is gone. That's so good. We still have to decide on a stain. That's what this is all about. These are four different stains that I'm deciding on. I really, really like just like the natural look. But look at these posts and here is the chandelier so this is the two-tone one that y'all helped me pick i will say the gold which is the candlestick part is not nearly as pronounced as i was hoping for but i didn't pull it out of the box before let me show you with the light on okay here it is with the light on but i actually think i'm gonna get 40 watt bulbs instead of 60s but you can see the gold a little better now it's pretty the floors are going in and they look so good in here. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can. There's no lights on in here. So this is all natural light. I feel like the camera's not doing them justice. They are just so pretty. I am loving them. We still have to do the kitchen and the entry and everything. And here is the marble in the laundry room. It's looking really good as well. I ended up having to change it to this. I was gonna do the black and white checkered, but I found this marble and really liked it. This is the primary bedroom. Floors are in, as you can see, and they look so good. I love them. For some reason, the lights aren't working in here, so I can't turn the lights on, so it's a little bit dark, but they look so good. Really, really happy with this. I still need to change this chandelier in my office, but my built-ins are in and they look really good. So I ended up switching. I asked y'all about kind of the layout I had going on here. And also I just feel like this is not doing this justice. This piece is massive, it's so big. It makes the room look really, really wide. I don't know if that helps or not. Like. Yeah, you can kind of see the whole thing, at least get a better idea of the whole thing. It's a really, really beautiful piece. We used, uh, like I used the same guy that did all the built-ins in our other house. He did such a good job. Let me see if I turn the lights on, if it's better. So yeah, that chandelier is definitely changing. I just haven't done it yet. There was, I don't know if you guys saw, there was wood everywhere here up until like the day before this came in. So just haven't had time, but we did uh, cabinets there four drawers there. One of those, these drawers is gonna be my printer. Four drawers there, cabinets there, and then just open shelving. And I'm gonna go in and just decorate these a little bit with some of my like luxury coffee table books. I'm not gonna do any handbags and shoes in here. I'm gonna leave that all in my closet because I did find that when I had shoes and bags in my office and in my studio, like I forgot they were there. So I'm gonna really, really try to keep everything in my closet at this house. 
So I just wanna decorate these shelves really nice and pretty, like I would decorate a living room or um, you know something like that. And then obviously I have a ton of storage. So anything that's more filing cabinet or business or work related, it'll go in all of the drawers and cabinets. Uh, but they did a, he did a really good job. Bobby always does a really good job. We still need to add some of the quarter round in here. So we definitely need to do that. Um, but the wood floors look so, so good. I did bring my chandelier from the other office because I really liked that chandelier, but I will say it has gotten so dusty and dirty since it's been here. So I'm gonna try to clean it up. And if it cleans up well, I'm gonna go in and put it in here. If it doesn't clean up well, then um, I'm going to just buy something new. But it looks so good. Look at the way that it worked with the um, wainscoting. It worked out perfectly with the wainscoting. The way that they, the contractors built it to there, it really, really looked, like turned out so well. I don't think I have shared this staircase makeover yet, but it's seriously the biggest impact. It looks amazing. We still need to put a stain on the poles and the railing that is raw wood. So it looks really dirty. So if you look too close, you're going to see that it's pretty dingy from like the worker's hands and stuff. So they'll do a light sand to it before they are light sand to it before they stain it. But it already looks so much better. Do you guys remember what was here? It was the circle bump out go to the first video if you haven't watched the first like the original first episode of this series to see where we started this to me is the biggest 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 transformation and then let me see i don't know if we're gonna be able to see it but the chandelier is in with the new light bulbs it looks so so good all of the wainscoting looks so so good they really did such an amazing job i am just so happy with how it turned out I know you've already seen the floors and these built-ins, but I just thought I would show you what everything looks like now that it's clean. I mean, it's obviously it's not fully done in here. We've got to do some quarter round. Um, we've got to, that's just like some electrical stuff because they're still working on some electrical things. Oh, and you can see what the staircase looks from this angle. It looks so good in here. I'm so happy with it. And look at the fireplace. Look at it. I still haven't decided on a stain, but I'm just gonna do whatever stain here to match the stain there. Oh, 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 and then now that we're in here, let me turn the lights on. I got new light, I got new light fixtures for here and I love them. Okay, so not all of the light bulbs are in, so let me just show you what they look like so far. So just imagine all the light bulbs. Imagine all the light bulbs. They're so good, I love, there we go, that's better. I love, 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 love these light fixtures. They're so pretty. Okay, I just had to do this angle one more time on the regular zoom. I don't know why I don't like the 0.5 zoom. I just feel like it makes everything look weird. But, and then yes, we, we did end up adding a floor plug because I want to put some lamps behind like the furniture. Um, we, I need to add, I need to order some hardware for these. I haven't decided what I'm gonna use, but I do need to order hardware for these cabinets for sure. Yeah, it looks so good. So good. These floors are so pretty. I'm really, really happy with these floors. Someone is playing on the boxes from the new nightstands. We've let them start roaming around the house. There's Miss Nala. So they're actually unpacked. I just had them leave the toppers to cover them because they still need to do some a lot of painting in here. But, uh, but yeah, they're playing in here. And my girlfriend actually gave me, you know what, I should share with you what I got. So as you can see, they say RH, Restoration Hardware Baby and Child RH Teen. These are actually uh, baby dressers, like nursery dressers, and using them as nightstands, they just give a grander feel. My girlfriend Tara gave me this idea, and I thought it was such a great idea, and I saw these. Here, let me pull this off, and then I'll show you. So these are the nursery dressers, but I'm just gonna use them as our nightstands. They're more oversized, which works if you have a larger space and it just makes your, your space feel a lot more grand. And there's nothing like specific about it. It's just a three dresser, like three drawer dresser. There's nothing like specific about it to make it for baby. You, you could add like a changing table top, but that was an add-on. So it's literally just like a smaller size 
dresser that is perfect to use as like an oversized nightstand and it had the perfect kind of like antique aged uh, wood look which is what I was going for and it's just a very timeless piece these are the Jameson dressers they were on sale as well so I got a killer deal on them and I'm I swear I've been having the hardest time one making decisions but two just it is obviously the remodel process has been a lot but buying all new furniture it's just so overwhelming and believe it or not I am very budget conscious when it comes to these kind of things in my life like handbags and shoes I'm somehow able to justify it but I don't like to spend a ton of money on furniture a lot because of these little guys and these little guys and these little guys so uh, but wood furniture I don't mind as much especially if I find something as classic as this granted I got a killer deal on these. They were $1,100 a piece, which I feel like is incredible from Restoration Hardware, like solid wood. I think they're solid. I'm pretty sure these are really nice quality pieces. It's classic. It's not in a trendy color. It's a classic color. They're an amazing size. These could be used in like an entry if you wanted to, but I just think they're such beautiful, beautiful nightstands. I don't know what the dimensions are, but that's the SKU if you want to look it up on the Restoration Hardware website. It is in the like nursery child section. But look at all that. Look at all that kind of aging. I just think it's so pretty with the little like lock look. Isn't it so pretty? I love it. I cannot wait to put these up. Look, he's loving all the boxes. But yes, I'm going to keep them covered because there's a lot of painting that they have to do in here. They did first coat, but they need to touch up and they have a lot of things to do. So I just want to make sure that I keep these protected. I don't want any paint getting on them. Right, Nala? I am pretty sure I already shared the shower situation. I will say I've already started using it the last few days. I'm obsessed. It feels massive, especially compared to our other shower at our other house. I'm just really, really happy with that. I also have started using the bathtub. Um, I need to get bath mats and so many things, but we are getting closer. Look, what was just delivered. The space already feels so different in here. So I ended up doing three P or well, four pieces, technically three items. I did two of these kind of transitional chairs i actually bought these not knowing if i was going to keep them here or put them in our bedroom in the sitting area i figured even if i leave them here for a little while i could always switch out because i love the fact that i've got two very like good base pieces with this swivel chair and then the main couch and then i can change up the look of this living room by changing out these chairs as often as i want to kind of create a different space and then obviously through area rugs and accessories and pillows and things like that but i really like these chairs i'll link everything down below for you guys if you want to check it out and i may obviously adjust them a little bit they just walked out the door so I haven't really had a chance to adjust everything. I love the swivel chair. I, re I might push it back in that corner a little bit, but I think right now it's actually in a good spot and I'm definitely gonna change that pillow out to a more of a decorative pillow. Um, I don't know if you can see right there in the corner, it has like a splotch of glue on it. It came like the second they unpacked it, I noticed it. I tried to clean it up as much as possible but um, there is some glue on the fabric. So we will see. The guy had me make a note in the thing whenever they did a delivery about it and send a picture. So they'll be calling. But I really love this chair. Look at that. It's so pretty. Very comfortable. It's a great piece. I liked it because you can, you know, kind of look out the window. And then here is the big daddy. I need to fix the pillows. But, and they'll obviously need to be adjusted. I'll fix it after because they're kind of heavy, but it's huge. I went with a big couch. It's really, really big. I wanted to fit as big as I could in this space. As you can see, I went very, very neutral with the base pieces and I would consider this couch, this jute rug, and this a base piece. I'm probably going to layer a rug here to add some depth and some texture and some color and then these chairs can be changed out anytime I want. But now that this is all in here, I can order a coffee table because I just wasn't sure what size coffee table. 
me see if I can really give you guys a good view of the space. Ignore the outside. We have a lot to do, and it's a rainy, gross day. We have a lot to do outside. But there you go, and I'm definitely gonna add like a console or something here to go behind the sofa so I can put some accessories. I ordered some lamps. Those are on back order, so they're probably not, I think those are not supposed to be here till like September, which is crazy, but they're the ones that I really wanted from Restoration Hardware. I've been dreaming about those lamps since we knew we were moving, so they will be worth the wait. But, and I've got a lot of extra space back here behind the sofa, so I have plenty of room to do stuff. But yeah, it looks so good. I gotta add some curtains, I gotta add some accessories. I haven't decided if I wanna do a mirror or a picture above the fireplace. Let me know down below in the comments. Yeah, it looks good. And I think I'm just gonna do like a square coffee table. So yeah. I'm gonna work on accessorizing these shelves and some pillows and stuff in here today. So there you have it. Let me know if you guys want to see the rooms once they're all fully decorated. Maybe I can do like individual room tours, like a kitchen tour, you know, stuff like that. Keep in mind, I have ordered, some of the furniture has come in because I am doing all new furniture in this house, but I ordered a new bed. That's not even gonna be here till the summer. Our coffee table is not gonna be here till the summer. So furniture is taking a really long time, but I also take a really long time to decide on furniture. So I still need to order, I need to order a breakfast table and chairs. I need to order a dining room table and chairs. I need to order a dresser for our primary bedroom. I need to order a bed for the guest bedroom. I need to order like some rugs and stuff like that. Some art, accessories, of course. I wanna do new lighting in the two chandeliers in the kitchen that I haven't changed out because I have changed out some. You guys have seen that, that part, but I have a lot to order and I do not rush that kind of stuff. I truly, truly take my time. I truly like to confirm and make sure that the pieces that I order, I'm ordering because I genuinely love it and not because I feel like I'm just in a rush to decorate a space. Like even this patio furniture, I want all new patio furniture. Like I want all new patio furniture, but I might go ahead and just keep this for this season and then do out here next year. Cause I'm not happy. Like I need to, that, that actually came with the house. It's very old. I need to replace it. It's just like storage for like the, the pool toys and the, the boys like basketballs and stuff like that. I need to replace that. I did buy new rocking chairs, which I love. And then I did buy a, new, a few other chairs that are out here like by the pool. But these are the couches that were in our old house. They're super dirty. Can you even see on camera? They're really dirty. Egg chair, I love it, but I will say it gets dirty so quick. I really thought having the cupboard would uh, eliminate the outdoor furniture being uh, like getting dirty and dingy and it doesn't. It just eliminates it from getting wet, but it actually gets even more dirty and dingy than it did whenever I covered it because it's just always exposed. So anyways, that's where we're at. That's where the house is. Like I said, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more house updates. And then of course some fashion and luxury videos as well. But thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.